Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered about the stars twinkling above? These distant points of light have fascinated humans for centuries. But did you know that stars are more than just pretty lights in the sky? They're the building blocks of our universe with incredible stories of birth, life, and death. In this video, we're going on a cosmic journey to explore the life cycle of stars. From their fiery beginnings to their dramatic endings, we'll uncover the secrets of these celestial wonders. So, buckle up and get ready for an out-of-this-world adventure. Let's start at the beginning, the birth of a star. Stars are born in vast clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. These cosmic nurseries are scattered throughout our galaxy. Inside these nebulae, gravity starts to pull the gas and dust together. As more material gathers, the center of this cloud becomes denser and hotter. This process can take millions of years, but eventually, a protostar forms. When the core temperature reaches about 10 million degrees Celsius, nuclear fusion begins. This is the moment a star is truly born. Now let's talk about how stars shine for billions of years. The secret lies in nuclear fusion happening in their cores. Stars spend most of their lives fusing hydrogen into helium. This process releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of light and heat. Our sun, for example, has been doing this for about 4.6 billion years, and it will continue to do so for another 5 billion years. The size of a star determines how long it will live. Smaller stars burn their fuel more slowly and can live for billions of years. Larger stars burn through their fuel quickly and may only live for a few million years. But what happens when a star runs out of hydrogen to fuse? This is where things get really interesting. For stars like our sun, they start to fuse helium into heavier elements. The star expands and becomes a red giant. Eventually, it will shed its outer layers, creating a beautiful planetary nebula. The core that's left behind becomes a white dwarf. White dwarfs are incredibly dense. A teaspoon of white dwarf material would weigh as much as an elephant on Earth. Now, let's talk about the most dramatic stellar event, a supernova. This happens to stars much larger than our sun. When these massive stars run out of fuel, they collapse under their own gravity. This collapse triggers a massive explosion called a supernova. A supernova can briefly outshine an entire galaxy. It's during this explosion that many of the heavier elements in the universe are created. Elements like gold, silver, and uranium are forged in these cosmic furnaces. What's left after a supernova depends on the original star size. If the star was between 8 and 20 times the mass of our sun, it becomes a neutron star. Neutron stars are incredibly dense. Imagine the mass of our sun packed into a sphere just 20 kilometers across. Some neutron stars spin extremely fast, emitting regular pulses of radiation. We call these pulsars, and they're like cosmic lighthouses. But what if the star was even bigger? Stars more than 20 times the mass of our sun face a different fate. After the supernova, the remaining core collapses in on itself. The gravity becomes so strong that not even light can escape. This is how a black hole is born. Black holes are some of the most mysterious objects in our universe. They warp space and time around them, and scientists are still working to understand them fully. Now, let's circle back to stars like our sun. Remember how they become white dwarfs. These stellar remnants are fascinating in their own right. White dwarfs no longer produce energy through fusion. Instead, they slowly cool down over billions of years. Eventually, they'll become so cool that they'll be nearly invisible. We call these theoretical objects black dwarfs. The universe isn't old enough for any white dwarfs to have cooled this much yet. 
It's amazing to think that the atoms in our bodies were once inside stars. When we look up at the night sky, we're seeing the factories that created the elements that make up our world. From the calcium in our bones to the iron in our blood, we owe it all to stars. As we've seen, stars have incredible life stories. They're born in cosmic nurseries, shine for millions or billions of years, and end their lives in spectacular ways. Some become white dwarfs, others neutron stars, and the most massive become black holes. Each type of stellar remnant tells us something new about the physics of our universe. The next time you look up at the night sky, remember the cosmic drama playing out among the stars. If you enjoyed this stellar journey, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more cosmic content.